title of this writing is Self-Investment is Deceiving. The amount of people invested in who they are not is not only deceiving, but limiting. The global illusion is that the person we made up and got comfortable with in our head is real. You are no more your descriptions of yourself than describing the moon as being made of green cheese. I'm a person who is the lead into a grand deception. You are not the person you imagine in your head. That's just a collection of impressions that got in there over time that you got comfortable with and concluded they are who you are. You are no more your impressions of who you are than the impressions you make in the sand are your feet. The difficulty is that we act on these impressions. If we have an image of ourselves being less than, we may act as shrinking violets. If we think we're more than, it can lead to actions of superiority. Our mission in life, as I see it, is to dismantle this image piece by piece until there are no pieces left. That's when we'll discover our innate self that defies description, but can light the way forward without the encumbrance of our image getting in the way. If you believe you are your accomplishments, then you have to believe you are also your failures. You are neither. Those labels describe actions you've taken, but they don't describe you. You cannot be defined, but can be experienced. The experience of you doesn't have a label, only a feeling of being enough to satisfy whatever comes up in the moment. When you meet every moment with you, your response is genuine, not contrived to fit the image you pretend to be. Here's a suggestion. Invest some time in examining who you think you are. If you find yourself describing yourself with label after label, then it's time to begin peeling them off one by one to find out who you are without a description. When there are no labels left, you're left with you, a worthwhile investment. All the best, John.